It's a process that dates back more than 5,000 years. Used for art and jewelry production over the centuries, from China to India, Africa, and Europe. But investment casting is now being seen as the future by many industries seeking lightweight, thin wall metal components. The investment casting, or lost wax process, produces high strength components with fine detail, thin walls, and greater dimensional accuracy than sand and other casting methods. Investment castings have excellent as-cast surface finish, reducing or even eliminating the need for machining, which means huge reductions in cost and lead times. Investment casting was used primarily by artists until the development of the jet turbine engine at the end of World War II. Since that time, it has become an enabling technology in today's top industries, such as aerospace and defense, power generation, automotive, oil and gas, space exploration, medical and orthopedics, agriculture, construction, marine, and more. The investment casting process can be used when producing shaped or non-symmetrical parts. Smaller parts with fine details, parts that have internal structures, as well as tight tolerances and thin walls. Step 1. Creation of a wax pattern. The process begins with production of a wax model or pattern for each part to be cast. The wax patterns are typically made by injecting wax into a metal tool or die. But since the early 90s, Baron Industries has also produced patterns through 3D printing technology. Today, Baron can produce rapid prototype castings from most 3D printed materials and deliver a finished machine casting in as little as 10 days. Step 2. Wax Tree Assembly because it is uneconomical to make small parts one at a time, wax patterns are typically attached to a wax tree or sprue. The wax between the patterns and the sprue are called gates. These solid wax branches also guide molten metal in the casting operation to form each final product. Larger items can also be cast on their own. Step 3. Creating the Shell the wax tree is dipped into a ceramic bath or slurry. Baron's six-axis dipping robot ensures consistency and uniformity of shell production in intricate and complex parts. After dipping, fine sand or stucco is applied to the wet surface. The mold is allowed to dry and the process is repeated a number of times, resulting in a layered ceramic mold capable of withstanding the stresses of the casting process. Step 4. De-wax and burnout. Before pouring metal into the mold, the wax is removed using a flash fire oven, which melts and burns off the wax. Step 5. Pouring of ferrous and non-ferrous metals. Before the metal is poured into a ceramic mold or shell, the mold is preheated to a specific temperature to prevent the molten alloy from solidifying before the entire mold is filled. Alloy is melted in a ceramic crucible using a process known as induction and electric resistance melting. A high frequency electric current creates a magnetic field around the alloy, generating electric fields inside the metal. When the alloy reaches its specified temperature, it is poured into the mold and the mold is allowed to cool. Step 6. Shell Knockoff once cool, the shell material is removed from the metal. This is typically done using a hammer or high-pressure water blast. Step 7. Cut off. After the shell material has been removed, the parts are cut off the sprue and the gates are ground off. Step 8. Finished castings. 
Investment castings can be finished using a number of means, including vibratory media finishing, belting or hand grinding, or polishing. Using a ceramic mold, the lost wax process produces a smooth finish, averaging a 125 RA surface finish as cast and a 5,000th of an inch per inch tolerance for the majority of applications. Depending on the application, investment castings can be used in their net shape or undergo machining for precision mating surfaces. It is normal for investment castings to cost more than castings produced using other, less precise methods such as sand casting. However, the benefits achieved using the investment casting process, including intricacy, reliability, reproducibility, and surface finish, more than make up for the difference in cost. Baron can also perform any required machining using the highest quality equipment, including Makino, Morisiki, and Mazak. Their 13 CNC machining centers include five horizontal and five vertical milling as well as three lathes combined with grinding, brazing, welding, assembly, and fabrication. Barron's technicians are experts in the machining of challenging alloys such as 17-4 pH stainless steel, 9010 copper, armor steel, cobalt, nickel, and S7 tool steel. Baron Industries is AS9100 certified, and their investment casting process is closely controlled at every point of production. NADCAP accredited for non-destructive testing, their lab is equipped to perform dye penetrate testing, magnetic particle testing, x-ray inspection, tinsel and physical property tests, and chemical and structural analysis. All testing results in a formal certification report. Baron also offers real-time work-in-process tracking with their Plex ERP system, laser engraving serialization, and barcode RFID tag tracking. All of Baron Industries' manufactured components are inspected, marked if required, packaged, and then delivered around the globe.